Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to make a video and talk to you guys about Jared Kushner, who is Donald Trump's son-in-law and Ivanka's husband. He's basically let us know why black people in America are not successful today, and that's because we don't want it enough. We don't want to be successful, apparently. Um, this goes on to what his uh, recent comment was. You can look it up, Google it, all of those things. I'm not linking it below because can't stand that family, but go look on Google, type his name in, literally thousands of articles will pop up. What tickled me the most about this and why I wanted to talk about it, because this is 100% that white male privilege thought that he does not understand exists in America, him and his family. So just to give you a little heads up and a, just a little understanding of who Jared Kushner is and how he's become successful without having to do a thing about it and just being born into that white male privileged life, Let's talk about it. So Jared's father is Charles Kushner. He is a real estate developer from Jersey who has raised and amassed tons and tons and tons of money. Um, he is also a convicted felon. He went to prison in 2005 for 18 different counts for illegal campaign contributions, tax evasion, and witness tampering, uh, which that included him getting a prostitute to sleep with his brother-in-law and setting it up and filming it and trying to get him to stop working with the FBI. Whole bunch of drama there. When he got out of prison in 2007, because he still was so wealthy, he was able to buy more real estate in New York because he could no longer work in Jersey and still work and make more money for his family. All right, again, another affordability that a lot of black men who go to prison are not allowed when they get back out. His grandfather was Joseph Kushner. Joseph, when he passed away in 1985, left 4,000 apartments to his son, Charles, and he was able to start his Kushner company in, eight, uh, excuse me, 1985 at the time when young Jared was only four years old. Um, but he was left these 4,000 apartments from the grandfather, Joseph. Joseph was a Holocaust survivor that came to America in 1949, and he started out as a carpenter. And after becoming a carpenter, he started his own business that was funded through the GI Bill and other grants. Again, Black people were not available to have at the time. They were not getting this money. Segregation was still a thing because it was supposedly ending May 17th, 1954, which was five years later. So Black people, again, at that time, were not afforded that same start that young Jared's grandfather was given. As we can see, there's a lot of not wanting to be successful. There's just a lot of not getting the same chances and opportunities to be successful. Let's also look at what Jared's success is right now. A lot of these companies and things that he started, again, he was funded by his father and grandfather. Um, he was given opportunities to start things, but he was also given a job that he had no knowledge of. And I like to speak about that because Trump keeps attacking Biden about his son getting this job, working with this oil company in another uh, country, and having no history of ever doing that. But I guess he forgets what he did for his son-in-law. Because despite having no experience working with foreign countries, yet alone the Middle East, he was assigned to lead a part of the Middle East peace plan and trying to make peace with the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. Again, a job he was not qualified for, and we don't talk about that. Trump just keeps attacking Biden for the job his son got, but doesn't talk about the one he got his son-in-law. But So what it looks like in a lot of these things is that, again, not wanting to be successful is just having things handed to you and getting certain opportunities that a lot of Black people weren't given simply because of racism and oppression and the system being fucked. <laughs> And then what is also further funny to me is the fact that all of these people were not Republicans until very recent. And they have all these Republicans acting crazy and saying all these things to support them. Um, Jared, he was a Democrat until 2009. From 2009 to 2018, he was independent. And then he's recently become a Republican in 2018. All right. And now during all this time as well, he has contributed tons of money to the Democratic campaigns um, for years and years. He literally just stopped giving money in 2015, right before his father-in-law decided to run for president. That's when he stopped giving money to Democrats. But before then, he was a very generous donor to the Democratic Party. And not only him, but so is his father, Charles. 
his father donated money until again 2016 when his son's father-in-law uh, became president and was in the Republican Party. Um, but that's the only reason that they stepped to that side as well. So it's just funny to me that again, like a lot of these people don't realize and understand who these people are, what they are. This is just me giving you a little history of who Jared is and when he talks about black people not wanting to be successful. No, they want to be successful. They want to breathe. They want to live. They want to have these things. They want to do everything that a white man is afforded in this country. It's just the fact is the system was set up for him to fail. And so since it's set up for him to fail, he has to jump a lot of hurdles, uh, go a lot of distance and do so much more to even try to catch up to where your grandfather and great grandfather was able to start from a long time ago. So Mr. Kushner, I just want to let you know, black people do want to be successful and we're trying and we're doing a great job of catching up to where you were just given as a birthright from yours. But anyways, thank you guys for checking out my channel. Just wanted to get that quick little message out there. I love you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.